I'd like to con uh, I would like to congratulate OnePlus for improving upon one thing that really bothered me about OnePlus devices. Um, it absolutely puts a damper on my experience as, as many others as well. It's one of the reasons why I stopped using Motorola phones is their update uh, process and update frequency uh, as far as how frequently they update their devices. So Samsung and Google, uh, really, really, really good about updating their devices. Obviously, Google issues the Android security patch monthly. Samsung's on top of it. Sometimes Samsung will beat Google Pixel to the punch and update their devices before Pixel uh, Google even updates their Pixels with the security patch. But OnePlus has been on a bi-monthly update process for as long as I can remember. They've essentially updated their phones every other month, which never made sense to me. I've heard the excuse that, well, their departments, their developer uh, departments are just not as big as Samsung's or Google's. And so it takes them a little extra time to get these security patches implemented and coded just right with these kernels and these devices. Well, now it appears that is all in the past. So OnePlus put out a, a press release, a statement saying they are now going to update their devices monthly. And I applaud that. Thank you very much, OnePlus. That was, it is, it's huge. And I know there's a lot, I know there's a lot of people like myself uh, that feel the same way, right? Again, that's why I stopped using Motorola. Motorola is notorious for just not updating their devices. They're like a year behind, literally. I'm not even joking. Uh, some of these devices a year behind which is outrageous because security and your security your information on these devices have to be secure it is unexcusable for a manufacturer to not update their devices once a month and i'm not even talking a month behind even if they update them monthly, some of these devices, some of these manufacturers will update them their devices monthly, but they're a month behind. So like uh, we're in August, right? So let's say if I was using some a random phone, um, I would get an update today, but it would be for the July security patch, not the August security patch. And then next month, instead of getting the September security patch, I would get the August security patch. That's not acceptable. We're too far advanced. Uh, we're too we're too into technology to where these companies are shorting you on updates. It's inexcusable. Uh, there is no excuse. I don't care if oh we just don't have the manpower or we just don't have the developers. Well then get de well then hire developers, right? Outsource your work. I don't care, but it's inexcusable. There's so many data breaches. Um, there's so many people getting hacked. Um, regardless of it's, or I know it doesn't correlate, but their Twitter account. I just talked to somebody uh, where their Twitter was hacked, and that was the second I've heard of in a, a, a week. Um, your data is too precious. We're spending too much money on these devices not to get updated monthly. So I applaud OnePlus. That was the one, well, not the one thing. That was one of the few things that I dislike about OnePlus. And they uh, corrected that. So um, OnePlus has announced its new monthly software updates. It's like the company's version of Google's Pixel feature drops, right? However, as Android Authority noted, it's more confusing and sort of impressive. So let me explain. For those unfamiliar, um, yes, I already went through all this. According to the announcement, actually, you know what? Let me go to the announcement. I don't want to read Android Authority. In fact, let's pull it up. Everybody can read this real quick. I'm going to get out of here, but let's, let's read this real quick. Let's 
So. <laughs> Coming to you from OnePlus Communities uh, website. Here's a message from their software team. Update. We are excited to announce the launch of version U120PO1 and version 120PO2, a new monthly software update series for OnePlus devices, which will be incorporated into the regular system upgrades. This update is set to enhance your experience by introducing OnePlus's self-developed apps along with a range of new features. With this update, you can enjoy the latest enhancements and improvements right away. Bypassing the usual gradual OTA over the air rollout process, currently the update is being distributed in phases to ensure a smooth and stable installation for all users. We encourage you to check your device settings for availability of this update by going to settings, then about device, then oxygen OS, and install it as soon as possible to start enjoying the new features. In this upgrade, you will find detailed information about the functionalities and improvements included. We will continue to provide updates on the progress of this rollout, so stay tuned for further announcements and updates. So I updated mine yesterday. Let's check it out. So what did we get in this version change law calculator optimizes unit converter interface on the calculator system improves system stability update schedule so <laughs> that wasn't much of an upgrade but look uh of an update but uh i'm glad they're moving to monthly updates they should be applauded for this so you're gonna get they've started the rollout august 2nd gradually rolling out it'll reach all devices around september 6th please wait patiently i already got mine i doubt it's going to take that long just check your device for updates for oneplus if you haven't gotten it so far you should get it here in the next day or two um, little little key secrets on updating your device um re it has it worked for me in the past uh so if you go to your update and it says no updates available simply uh, restart your device, literally power it off, wait a few seconds, power it back on, and then check. That has worked. Or uh, turn your Wi-Fi off, turn your Wi-Fi back on, and then check again. And it, that has worked for me in the past. So what that does is it essentially cuts the connection to the server, reestablishes a new connection to the update server, and then it will sometimes refresh it and then catch on that, hey, there's an update. A lot of times your device will already be connected to the server and it's just used to saying, hey, no update. So once you reestablish a new connection, it has worked in the past. And if that still doesn't work for you, just gonna have to wait, wait a day or two, but just check it every morning or whenever you can every day and it should be out. Um, so it looks like it's available for most OnePlus devices, all the way OnePlus 12 series, 12R, OnePlus Open, 11, 10, 9, 8, and the Nord devices, including the new Nord 4, OnePlus Pad, OnePlus Pad Go, um, even all the way down to the uh, cheap ones, the OnePlus Nord CE and all that stuff. Um, let's see here. So, good news. Now, um, on the Samsung side, there was no change. In the change log, there was not much. I think Samsung update, let's go to that. Let's see, Sam Mobile. Wow. Not much in this change log. It just says the general security patch, uh, security updates, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, I don't see much from here. Cause when I looked earlier, when I updated the device, it just said general update. So I know there was supposed to be a big camera improvement 
uh, in this August update. That unfortunately is pushed back. We did, uh, la what was it, two weeks ago? Talked about how there's a huge camera update for this for these S24 series devices, for the Ultra, the Plus, and the, the stock model, the base model. It was not on this update. So uh, wait another month, and there should be a huge camera update that should improve many things. Uh, photo, photo quality, uh, processing uh, of these photos. But it's unfortunately not on this one, and it will be hopefully on next uh, next month's update. So... Uh, we will keep an eye on that as well. So that'll do it for today's podcast. I do appreciate y'all joining us. Uh, thank you very much. Remember, if you if you catch us in the middle or you want to go back and uh, listen to a topic that we discussed that you missed out on, you can always go to the eSim Studios YouTube channel. I'm streaming on multiple platforms, but if you want to catch the replay, go to the eSim Studios YouTube channel. That's where we got um, all the content and eSIM Studios podcast. So I got news on that. We just introduced, we're on the actual, actually on the homepage of Samsung Podcasts. Uh, they sent me an email, Samsung sent me an email yesterday saying that uh, that they picked us up for Samsung Podcasts. It's not like all the other podcast platforms where you just submit an RSS feed and then they'll host your podcast. You have to go through like an like a application process through Samsung, and I get it. Um, uh, I'm sure they checked us out and realized we were Samsung fans, so I'm sure that wasn't too hard of an approval. But we did get approved, and we we I think we still are. I haven't checked recently, um, but as of this morning, we're still on the homepage of Samsung Podcasts. Now you have to go to the technology section, right? They're, they're not putting us on the homepage with um, Ben Shapiro or or Joe Rogan. It'd be cool, but if you go to the Samsung, if you go to the news app and then slide over to podcasts and then hit the technology section, we're on the homepage. So wherever you get your podcasts, uh, search eSAM Studios podcast and we shall pop up. We're on Amazon Music, iHeartRadio Music app. We're on uh, Apple Podcasts. We're on uh, Pocket Casts, the application. And now on Samsung Podcast. So uh, if you check us out, appreciate it. And uh, subscribe to the channel, whether it's the YouTube channel or the podcast. Yeah, I would appreciate it. we got a ton of cool stuff coming. I got, I'm working on a cool uh, giveaway. So for this week's uh, or this weekend's giveaway, I, I believe we got something cool cooked up for everybody. So please stay tuned for that. And uh, you can win something free. So appreciate the time. Y'all have a safe, enjoyable evening. And I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.